Hello, my name's Charlotte. I'm a senior cardiac physiologist and I've worked at West Suffolk Hospital now for coming up for four years. My day-to-day -day at the moment, um, I've specialised in invasive cardiac physiology, so my day-to-day -day, um, is pretty much split between time in the catheter lab, uh, so implanting pacemakers and other cardiac devices, um, and then the other half of my day-to-day -day would um, be following up patients in pacemaker clinic, um, and we see patients at regular intervals throughout the time of their cardiac device. Um, so I had a slightly different route um, to some of my colleagues. I did an undergraduate degree in sport and exercise science um, at Leeds Met and then did a postgraduate degree and master's in clinical exercise physiology at Liverpool John Moores University. While I was there um, I secured lots of volunteering kind of opportunities in various trusts up north um, and really loved the healthcare science role and the role in cardiac physiology in particular. So I applied for a band five trainee post here at West Suffolk and was lucky enough to get that in 2017. I love patients. Patients are everything about my job and about the role as a healthcare scientist. Um, we wouldn't have a job and it wouldn't be anywhere near as enjoyable without our patients. We have a very varied role day to day and we have really close relationships with all of our consultants but equally close with our nurses and our healthcare assistants and porters alike. We have a really collaborative approach to healthcare um, and are able to deliver a really holistic um, healthcare management plan to all of our patients. Um, you'd have to ask someone else to um, really find out what I'm known for in my team, but I'd like to think that I'm known for being a good team player and being approachable to all of my colleagues for help um, with whatever they needed. And I would always try and help people if I could. Um, but secretly, I am also known for a good Victoria sponge. <laughs> Um, so advice to people wanting to become a healthcare scientist would be get good qualifications whether that's just an undergraduate degree or you want to go and study at master's level at university before entering your career um, but also get as much voluntary experience as you can so whether that's in a healthcare assistant role or just doing work shadowing within cardiac physiology or in the community just get as much hands-on experience with patients in a patient facing environment as you can um, and that will really prepare you for your career as a healthcare scientist. So from starting as a trainee, um, the Trust has kind of delivered a preceptorship programme which took me from a, a new entry kind of healthcare scientist, if you like, um, to becoming a senior cardiac physiologist um, and I had to complete various competencies um, and trust-based leadership and management courses um, in order to progress into a band six role. Um, the trusts have also really kindly supported me in achieving international accreditation within um, cardiac device and cardiac rhythm management, um, which I secured last year in 2020 um, and have been really good in supporting me up until the point of hopefully progressing further within my career and within the Trust of West Suffolk. Again, the most valuable thing about my job is interacting with patients and being able to deliver a high standard of care to every patient that we see, whether that's five minutes with them in a really short diagnostic test or whether that's an hour procedure implanting a pacemaker. Um, particularly in my role, we uh, follow up pacemaker patients for, for the rest of their life um, at various intervals, so we are able to develop um, really good rapport with, with all of our patients and I think they really enjoy coming to see us in clinic. <laughs>